Hello, my name is Dr. Yash Jefferson. I'm located in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Uh, Dr. Derek Mahoney has asked me to uh, do a, a video demonstration of my Jefferson cephalometric analysis. Uh, I am more than happy to do so, uh, but I'd like to inform you that the Jefferson cephalometric analysis is a uh, modified and much abbreviated version of the Sassuni archaeoanalysis. And I'd like to give Dr. Viken Sassuni credit where credit is due. I would also like to uh, give uh, Dr. Richard Beisel credit. Uh, I learned how to do the analysis through his simplified Sassuni Plus. So these two gentlemen, uh, I owe a great deal. So uh, let's begin. Thank you. An excellent manual to learn how to do my Jefferson cephalometric analysis is the uh, manual that I uh, had published several years ago uh, and they will be available once there are it uh, becomes available right now uh, we have some copyright issues that I have to resolve there are anatomic structures that we need to uh, be able to uh, obtain from the cephalometric uh, x-rays we need to be able to get the roof of the orbit lateral border of the orbit and where that intersects is super obertal, S-O-R. We also need to get nasion. We also need to get cella inferior. This is the cella tersica. And this is the inferior border of the cella tersica. So what it's, it is what we call cella inferior. You need the anterior nasal spine, which is the tip of the maxilla. Posterior nasal spine. You need to get pagonion, menton, the mid-occlusal point of uh, the uh, second bicuspid or deciduous molar, and sixer, uh, this is the sixer molar. We need to get the mid-occlusal point to get the uh, occlusal plane. Lateral border of the ramus and the inferior border of the ramus. Dr. Mahoney emailed me this uh, cephalometric uh, radiograph and I was able to make a hard copy with my printer and I would like to uh, notate how excellent this radiograph is. Uh, please be aware that uh, unless you have excellent radiographs of the cephalometrics showing all the details of the anatomy uh, you will not be able to get an accurate uh, tracing. Additionally, this is a digital radiograph and I want each and every one to gauge and make sure that you have a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, some of these radiographs are not true one-to-one uh, -one, and you have to make sure that, that they are one-to-one. -one. If not, you, you need to have little gauges there to indicate the, 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 uh, whether it's 10% uh, too big or 10% too small, uh, you have to make sure that you are able to make the one-to-one -one ratio uh, uh, any way you can. I like to uh, tape a clear acetate over the uh, cephalometric uh, radiograph. And I would like to use a magic marker to trace the anatomy. This is the cranium and this is the lateral border of the orbit. This is the roof of the orbit. Cella tersica. greater wings of the sphenoid, cribriform plate. You can see a little fuzzy uh, point right here which is the anterior nasal spine and this is the posterior nasal spine.
the upper central incisors the lower central incisors the six-year molar, the max, maxillary six-year molar the lower six-year molar the bicuspids posterior border of the ramus inferior border of the ramus menton is right here Pagonion is right here. Nasion is right here. I also would like to trace the uh, soft tissue. And I like to uh, trace out the odontoid process. This is uh, porion, and this is anatomic porion. I'm going to flip the page to acetate. And you can see the anatomy of the uh, cephalometric x-ray. This is an excellent x-ray. Uh, one of the things that I want everyone to uh, realize is make sure that when your dental assistant or staff takes the uh, cephalometric x-ray that the patient is occluding an intercuspal relationship. Sometimes a patient will bite on the anterior and the posterior teeth would be open. Uh, that would throw off the vertical uh, analysis. So make sure that the posterior teeth are in contact. Once I trace the cephalometric analysis on the acetate, I will take the acetate and take it to a copier machine and make a copy and this is why what I have and I find that this is so much easier to tra uh, to do the analysis than on the acetate or uh, the radiographic tracing paper. From this tracing you will need to get four planes. You have the uh, cranial plane, that's the plane that I uh, I'm, I'm the developer of the cranial plane. Sasuni analysis uh, uses the parallel plane. I don't use that. I think it's much more complicated to uh, ascertain that. The cranial plane is much more simple, simply, simple to use and to uh, ascertain. The uh, other plane is the palatal plane. And then you have the functional occlusal plane, and I will explain the difference between functional occlusal plane and the uh, occlusal plane, and then the mandibular plane. To get the uh, cranial plane, find SOR, which is right here. SOR is the lateral border, and the roof of the orbit where they intersect is SOR. Cella inferior. When you have get those two points, get a ruler, connect the two points, and draw a line all the way to the back of the page. The next plane is the palatal plane. The point A and S anterior nasal spine, 
point PNS, posterior nasal spine, get a ruler, connect the two dots, and draw a line all the way to the back. Now the occlusal plane that you most doctors understand is the mid occlusal point of the six year molar and you bisect the anterior upper incisors and the lower incisors. We don't use that point here. Ignore that. You use the mid occlusal point of the second bicuspid or the second deciduous molar and the mid occlusal point of the six year molar. Draw a line between the points and go all the way to the back. The next plane is the mandibular plane. What you need to do is draw a line tangent to the posterior ramus. And then follow the, the plane, the lower inferior mandibular plane tangent starting from mint, menton and go all the way back. Actual gonion would be right about here, but we're not going through actual gonion, we're going through constructed gonion right here. This is the constructed gonion. That's the point you need to go through. From menton to constructed gonion. 